There are two elements of that collection that I really don't like. Hi and very welcome! My name is Mary, this is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. And with the Pharrell Williams Louis Vuitton Spring Summer 2024 men's collection runway show having taken place just very recently, of course a lot of people are talking about that collection and First, I did not even want to talk about it because I don't have that much good to say and I don't want to be such a negative Nancy, so I thought I'll just say nothing about it at all. But then I decided, well, why not share my two cents? It's nothing too serious, nothing too dramatic. And if you love that collection, if you want to get something from it, do it, go for it. Oh, and I forgot to take my phone with me where I already have some prices for you out of focus, uh, which might be interesting for you as well, if I'm not already super late anyways. One point I did not even take into consideration what I don't like about the collection is the whole price point. The speedies are going to be starting at 2,500 euro for the speedy 25 in green, 2,650 for the 45 in orange and 2,750 for the size 50 in yellow. Then we do have some speedies that even retail for 10,000, 9,000, 7,500 euros. So a crocodile speedy for 1 million with a special trunk, something like that. Great, not interested. Um, let's refer to the prices when we are at the point where I want to mention them. So I'm not going to go in depth into all of the pieces overall. Yeah, well, nice men's fashion. Bags. I think it is a positive development that men's and women's fashion and especially bags that the borders between them get more and more fluid and men can wear women's bags and women can wear men's bags and honestly we do not even need to differentiate between men's bag and woman's bag because don't we all just need something to carry our stuff around and I think bags are bags and wear whatever bags you want no matter from which section they might come, so not sure which of the points I want to mention first. I think let's start with the softer point that I'm not that mad about, but you probably have seen these orange paper bag look bags that look like the Louis Vuitton shopping bags and quite some people are praising it as such a novelty, such a great creative idea and yeah, it is a great creative idea, but it's definitely nothing new. Moschino has done that bag many years ago. I've seen it from Valentino, I've seen it from Balenciaga. Bottega Veneta is driving it to the max. I think this is a bag from this year and it does not even look like a Bottega Veneta shopping bag, but it looks like an actual paper bag. And just when you turn it around, there is this tiny logo engraving on the bag. So paper bags made out of leather, they are not a new thing, actually. I myself already do own one, this Tiffany & Co shopping bag that looks like a paper bag made out of leather. And yeah, Louis Vuitton dropping it, okay, do it. Maybe we have somewhat of a paper bag look trend going on at the moment. I couldn't think of these handheld lunch bag type of bags from the top of my head right now, but. I know for sure that I have seen those before as well. To give you some prices on these bags, the sandwich bag, so I think the folded up paper thingy will be 2,500 euro. The shopping bag MM, so the medium size, will be 3,500 euro. And the shopping bag GM will be 3,700 euro. That's a hefty price tag if you ask me for a simple leather tote, an open tote. I'm not even mad that it looks like a paper bag because I like that. I think it's a quirky a quirky design idea and I can absolutely see how someone would fall for it. But it's still just an open tote that doesn't need that much of craftsmanship and details and hardware and stitching and stuff. So I think that's a hefty price tag and I just don't like that it gets celebrated like the brand new super great idea when several brands have done it before and it's not that great of an idea. Then, okay, all of these colorful bags, the speedies with the huge damier pattern in different colors. I don't mind them. For me personally, 
they don't match the price point, but I'm not mad at them either. But where it gets somewhat critical for me, I just can't wrap my head around that is the so-called Damouflage print, which is inspired by Camouflage and has this kind of Minecraft edgy square look to it, but still it's camouflage inspired. That's even where the name comes from. I just don't get the camouflage trend in general. Camouflage to me is connected to the army and the army is connected to war and war is connected to people dying, having to lose their lives. And I personally just don't see how that is a fashion statement and why you should wear a pattern like this if you are not a soldier doing his duty, why wear a print like that? If you like the color, if you like khaki, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There are beautiful shades of green you can wear, but why does it have to be a war pattern? Do we really need to make a fashion statement out of everything? I personally don't think so. I'm kind of surprised that this is what Pharrell Williams wanted to put out for his very first collection. I know that many people like camouflage and think it's just a fun pattern, fun design. I just don't agree. I don't think it is fun and I don't think it is necessary to put a pattern that is connected to war and people dying out as a fashion statement. So that's the thing that really didn't sit too right with me about that collection. Overall, yes, there are some very eye-catching pieces. If I would get gifted a bag, of course, I wouldn't say no to most pieces. I wouldn't want the camouflage, damouflage ones, because, yeah, well. I would take the shopping bags as a gift, because that's the thing. I like bags that look like shopping bags, but to me, it absolutely does not match the price point they ask for on that bag. And that's already my very quick little video that I wanted to put out on that topic. Please excuse if it was super rambly and unstructured. It's hot as hell. I'm sweating like crazy. I didn't prepare anything. I just yesterday watched the show, um, couldn't make up my mind if I want to talk about it and then decided why not put out my thoughts to the internet because all the opinions I have seen so far, they were just praising the collection and what great of a job Pharrell Williams did for his very first collection as a fashion designer. I don't want to talk his work down because obviously I'm not a designer myself. I probably never could do what he has done. Not just probably, I know for sure that I couldn't do it, but I think there's always room for improvement and yeah, praising these shopping bags with that hefty price tag as a super novel great idea just isn't it for me and the whole camouflage camouflage pieces aren't for me either and that's everything for today thank you so much for watching hope to see you next time and bye it's really hot and my necklace was hidden all the time very curious to see if that will get some people mad i don't mean to make anyone mad if you love the pieces buy them i won't judge you. I just shared my thoughts that I don't like it. You can like it. Do what you want. If you want to find out more about my Tiffany & Co shopping bag, I will link the unboxing on it for you. And here is something else YouTube would recommend you to watch next. Mm -hmm.